Welcome to Talk of the Town with Dick Thurston, Town Supervisor. This is the second of our installment of regular programs to bring you up to date and to inform you of what is going on in this tremendous community. Uh, during the first part of this program, I will be talking about some of the wonderful things uh, that we have initiated you know, for the first time within the town to bring a greater sense of community and recognition that the town of Wappinger does in fact exist and we're not just a Wappinger Falls post office box or a village of uh, or town of uh, Fishkill post office uh, address. You know, in fact, you know, we are a, a proud community of a diverse culture that is nearly 29 square miles uh, in size with over 100 miles of roads that are actually a uh, huge number to plow or to maintain, you know, 284 actually to be exact. But this community is about its people and about our, you know, identity as the great town of Wappinger and our various uh, hamlets and village uh, and other communities that are here. But one of the things that we initiated at the first uh, get-go with respect to this new town board and myself and also our town historian, Joey Cappuccini, is related to where does the town begin? You know, where are the communities that exist in the town? You know, the signs that were there, which were actually a paltry few, either became dilapidated by neglect and abuse or were broken down as a result of snow plows or other damage. Then we felt that we needed to restore a common identity throughout the town. So you will see new signs have been appearing and will continue to appear identifying your communities, whether it's the town boundaries along the major uh, inbound and outbound routes, or it's our communities such as Wheeler Hill Historic District or the new signs that went up relating to Chelsea, uh, both along 9D and also down at the pier area. These are a number of the uh, initiatives. In addition, you know, we have been enhancing our uh, parks. Uh, for example, at Schlothaus Park, you know, we not only put in new signs that were in a sad state of repair and neglect because they weren't funded in the past, but also we have put in new siding, a new roofing, a new porch. There, we've also put in a new porch at the Carnwath uh, a farms administration building. Uh, we've been able to do some of this with wise spending, budgeting of the town, but also, you know, as for example, out of Carnweth, with a lot of volunteer help, and it's enabled us to address some sorely neglected resources. For example, when it comes to arts and culture and identity, one of the most important assets that we have when it comes to this area is our sports museum. Well, this was a sports museum that actually was established with the presence of, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton, also during Joe Ruggiero's uh, era. And it helped to bring an identity, but then due to periods of neglect, uh, lack of funding, you know, the sports museum had to close down. Now we're going to have a grand opening, reopening, in April of this, uh, May, I'm sorry, May of this year. I'm getting ahead of myself, uh, April is when our web uh, site is going to be released. So this is one that we'll have a lot of uh, you know, publicity you know, related to and hoping that we'll get more. The interior of it, uh, the exhibits are just phenomenal. And so I hope everyone will come out uh, to, to see that. So this is one part of the cultural aspects. As I mentioned in previous broadcasts, uh, we are revamping our internet you know, site uh, entirely. Now, this has been as a result of a shared services agreement with the county, uh, thanks to the support of the county commissioners and the county executive. So it will have a totally new look and feel. Uh, it will enable you to communicate regularly 
with your elected officials and to share your insights and, yes, from time to time uh, concerns you know, that you may have. And we'll have interactive connectivity with our various departments, uh, such as highway department. You know, and in fact, for example, in the highway department, you'll be able to see where the snow plows are. You know, we have new GPS systems that the highway superintendent put in to track the plows. So they'll be able to see, have they been, or when were they at my street, let's say Kent Road. Uh, so th this is part of the community interactivity that we're doing. In connection with that, and, and actually as kind of a, a basis for our modeling for the website, uh, when I came in here, I talked with a number of uh, real estate brokers, a number of local officials, a number of business people. What's lacking? Well, we don't know anything. What is the town of Wappinger? And people would always refer to it as Wappingers. I still see this in some of the trash journals and stuff that's out there. They're referring to us as Wappingers. Incorrect. It means that somebody doesn't know what they're talking about. So what are we doing? Well, I already mentioned a few things. You know, but another one of the initiatives is that you know, myself uh, with Donna Lenhart and also Joey Cavaccini and others in town hall, all of the town hall staff and elected officials have been involved in this creating this new publication uh, that we've copyrighted and are releasing now, you know, which is a brochure. Uh, you can see you know, it's colorful or it has great pictures. We have at the center of it as well, it should be a map of the town. This is where all of the activity occurs. And we've been able to then capture our wards, our hamlets, our village, you know, our parks. Uh, many people don't have any idea where our parks lie. Uh, elsewhere in this, we have a list of our streets. We have in the front you know, a lot of information about the various assets, including our recycling yard, uh, our history of our town, our education. You know, we look at eating locally you know, and some very well-known but not highly publicized uh, local franchises. Uh, one of the least uh, known but is the best in the state is actually out at Over Creek, the brewery that they have. You know, we're very proud uh, of the Reese family and all the things, of course, that they've done. We talk about our parks. And also, for those of you that really want to know what's going on, and we have uh, sections in the back that highlight all the recreation activities that are between now and the end of the year so that you know of the major events and all this information can be found on actually the new recreation website, uh, which will be interrelated, interconnected you know, with our new town website as we go through. So uh, we're very proud of this. You know, the board has been uh, fully behind it. You will be able to see also uh, summaries, bios of our board members at the town board level. And uh, this is a great start, I think, uh, to helping the community learn more about the town of Wappinger. In connection with this, we've also have begun a series of initiatives that help to further promote the town of Wappinger as a sustainable residential community at the core of which are our small businesses, but also help bringing in new residents uh, that actually are tied to investment and trade, not just with our town. Uh, our town is just one part of a greater uh, Dutchess County, uh, but also of the Hudson Valley Estuary that has had a long, proud history of international trade and investment. Uh, in connection with that, I've been very fortunate that my background uniquely places me uh, in the position of being able to bring a number of contacts to this community. I have spent time and energy trying to promote the development of our business infrastructure. As a recent example, you know, people have criticized me, but I don't mind that because I know that I'm providing a useful service to the town by traveling overseas once in a while. I'm not out that often. But for example, just recently I went to Taiwan for a 10-day trip. You know, I did not ask the town to pay for this. Instead, I was invited by the cultural attache at 
the AIT, the de facto embassy in Taiwan, uh, which is directly supported you know, through the Department of Commerce, Department of State. Uh, during that visit, I was asked, again, at the invitation of AIT cultural attache, to go and present a series of lectures and meetings with Taiwan high-tech industry to invest in the United States, but particularly to invest in our great Dutchess County. And hopefully then our town will benefit from some smaller light industry investment but also as a major hub and transit point, and then a most important residential point for those new businesses. I'm excited to say that there is great interest in that. And this initiative has been closely coordinated with our county executive, Marcus Molinaro, and with his staff, Ron Hicks uh, and Sarah Lee. Uh, they have been involved in the preparation and planning for that. You know, for example, before this last trip, you know, Ron and Sarah, uh, with Marcus's involvement, you know, prepared a special customized uh, brochure. Uh, this is just printed out from PDF that relates to the high-tech industry and what we have to offer, whether it's semiconductor or it's uh, green uh, technologies, a variety of things uh, of that. So. You know, they specially prepared for me to present, and we handed out many copies of this brochure, you know, to the Taiwan businesses. And as a result of that, you know, we believe that sometime in June, later this year, there will be a trade delegation that comes to New York, and hopefully we can get them interested in coming up to this area. Just to show you specifically what I'm talking about is that thanks to, you know, the uh, county executive's office, they also prepared a Chinese, this is long form standard traditional Mandarin characters for Taiwan businesses. And in fact, you know, we, as you can see, it's in Chinese and it targets, you know, our area in Dutchess County. And this was specially prepared and has been handed out to a variety of businesses over in Taiwan to get them interested in our area, something that hasn't been done before. And I've been talking with the county executive and other officials uh, about the possibility of a small trade group that would be co-mingling with this. This is not about mainland China and all the things that uh, people are concerned about. No, this is about an ally of the United States that has deep ties and lasting ties in this area because of IBM and its residents that have inhabited our town. So we're trying to bring back something that also could help our Chinese speaking people or our uh, Hindu speaking people with important meaningful jobs in this area. So this initiative is just part of the overall enhancement. You know, we are taking great efforts to make it known what the town of Wappinger is all about. And uh, the board uh, has been supportive fully and we're going to have more of these types of initiatives in that promoting our infrastructure development, uh, promoting you know Route 9 in a reasonable manner. You know, recently we have an interest of a company coming in uh, to uh, to a property, but we also are taking care of making sure that our residents' concerns are fully comprehended in the course of this. So the good news is is that we are getting Wappinger on the map. Uh, we may even someday be able to get a, a small other sub a train station here in the town uh, so as to further promote us and the great cultural and historical you know uh, values uh, that this community has as kind of the the, the uh, residential part of much of the business activity in our town another one of our activities uh, that we've initiated uh, and the board is funding is how to bring even greater transparency uh, to our residents and our community overall. I've already discussed a few of those ways when we look at a new website or a brochure, but one of them actually is involving this very taping you know, that we're going through right now. And that's where the board has you know, brought on board, uh, lower case B, our uh, videographer, I'll call him, Michael Miner, and he has a production studio that is actually now taping not just this program 
and others in the future, but is pro, uh, is uh, video uh, taping the uh, town board meetings, the zoning board of appeals where the public uh, discussion is held, and also our planning board meeting, to name a few. In addition, you know, he's cop, you know, photographing, uh, videographing uh, a number of our community events. Uh, you know, for example, you can go on YouTube and you can see uh, the fantastic you know, St. Patty's Day parade that occurred in the village. Uh, Michael you know, photographed that and gave a lot of people their 10 seconds of glory in history by getting them involved in that taping. And we'll be doing other programs with respect to our social, cultural you know, activities that are going to be held uh, throughout the year. So this is going to be a means of greater interaction. Uh, this is going to be available not just on our website, but on Channel 22, and what is it, Channel 36 or 35 uh, 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 for uh, of cable vision. Uh, but also, more importantly, it's going to be out there on social media that is designed to try to get our younger generation and our millennials who really participate in social media, such as YouTube, such as Facebook, and a number of the other social media sources. So this information is going to be there. Uh, we believe in opening up all of our meetings to public you know, participation. So it's part of this transparency effort you know, that we have. Uh, you know, related to uh, this, as I mentioned earlier, you know, when we're filming activities, we'll be filming also some of our sports events and, uh, and other types of rollouts, such as Community Day, you know, which we think will be a fantastic event you know, this year. Uh, finally, I'd like to just re-emphasize the fact that we have created this Arts and Culture Committee uh, that is designed to tap into the tremendous wealth of talent that we have in this town. I have been amazed by uh, how many fantastic artisans we have. And we'll be doing a lot of different programs to help promote our artists. For example, we had our first ever major art exhibit in Town Hall uh, during Chinese uh, Lunar New Year's where we brought local artists together uh, to show some tremendously talented you know, artwork. We also have been now actively uh, sponsoring, uh, thanks also to Joey Cappuccini, uh, an annual exhibit in our Town Hall display case. You know, we started with uh, looking at uh, African American History Month. And now we're looking at the women's uh, and suffrage movement, and we're going to be having other you know, promotions, as well as other art exhibits for other different cultures through the town. This helps to enhance communication, and we were blessed during the art exhibit by a number of our executives uh, that attended, such as uh, County Executive Marcus Molinaro, and we envision more of those, both indoors and outdoors, such as Carnwath. You know, we believe will be a major destination for arts and culture, let alone nature lovers, you know, such as also at Reese Park, you know, which has been sorely neglected by lack of funding in previous you know, years. And you know, we are now working on doing that revamping, including, for example, most of you didn't know, we have a beautiful pond there that freezes over in the winter and can be available for ice skating as one uh, example. So this committee, again, as I said, I think in my previous taping, I invite all of our artisans in the town to, to come. Let me know uh, who you are, what you're doing, what your interest is, and then we'll be able to build a database uh, going forward uh, that will be available to everyone to look at. Maybe we'll even be able to find a, a poet laureate for the town uh, or a composer in residence. Uh, because we do have that talent, believe it or not, town. So I thank you very much for your attention. And again, if you should have any questions or like to volunteer, please stop by. You know, come see me or come talk with any of our elected officials. Send in an email. Or when we get the new website on, you'll be able to communicate it with us almost minute by minute. So thank you very much. Uh, I, I look forward to continuing to service you in the months and years ahead. Thank you.